Fishermen notice that their catch is no longer as good as they used to be. Uh, I started fishing about when I was 13 years old. I think there is a change, big changes because some of my special places where I do deep bottom fishing, they were not there nowadays. My dad is a fisherman, he's a Chamorro, Chamorlinian, Chamorro Carolinian. We grew up with fishing and farming. Back then, we don't rely on too much on the store. We rely on fish, yellowfin tuna, like 40, 60 pounder, easy to catch them. But now they're way out there. Or even way out there, you don't catch those big, you know, 40 pounders is rare. The stock is pretty low here. I mean, very low. Best thing now to save those fish in a while, give them break, is probably fish farming, aquaculture. That's what I'm seeing. Like many Pacific Islanders, the people of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands are having to cope with significant changes to their traditional ways of life. Over the past few decades, a decrease in wild fish stocks and a fledgling local economy has led to an increased reliance on imported outside goods and services. In collaboration with industry partners like CTSA, the Northern Mariana College Crees program is promoting aquaculture to islanders as one solution to restore self-reliance. Preaching about it, we've seen greater interest in our programs from the local people. We've tried an economy based on outside investment. It didn't work. Our garment factories um, left. Now we have shell of buildings, huh? and that's all we have. But if we build from within, people, um, the investment comes from local people. It comes from people that have long-term um, interest in these islands. That's a different um, approach, but I think it's a sustainable approach. If you produce the, you know, the, the food from your farm, it kind of gives you that uh, uh, feeling of satisfaction by contributing to the community uh, with uh, food supply. People use, are used to buy an imported shrimp, but now since it's produced locally, for the local fresh shrimp, because we never freeze it, and as a result it's better quality, fresher, sweeter, and they know what the real taste of shrimp is. Aquaculture has already made a positive impact to the local economy. Thanks in large part to trailblazing producer Cy Aqua, the island chain was recently ranked fourth place in U.S. shrimp production after a harvest of 42,000 pounds in 2010. While shrimp currently boasts the highest tonnage, tilapia is a more popular species among northern Mariana farmers due to its low maintenance and local market appeal. The Hawaii view the tilapia as a trash fish until I took them over to the fish market here. When we were selling tuna at 75 cents a pound and selling tilapia at 250 a pound. Projects to culture other fin fish and bivalves as well as produce local fish feeds are promising opportunities on the horizon. Basically we want to maximize the resources that we have uh, through aquaculture. In addition to the incorporation of different species and new technology, stakeholders are fostering the growth of the industry by seeking solutions to obstacles that impede local production. We're trying to uh, come up with a solar energy so we can have, uh, you know, so I can operate it. Because the main reason that I started off for a couple of years ago is because of the power. I pay like about $9,000 a month for utilities alone, and it's one of my highest bills. It's cheaper to get something from LA over to Guam than it is from Saipan to Rota, which is <laughs> less than 100 miles. Can the U.S. government help us in subsidizing some of these transportation costs? Implementation of alternative energy systems and transportation subsidies can help the industry to grow, as can promotion. Crees enjoys using innovative outreach approaches to capture the attention of fishermen and other groups of potential aquaculture farmers. The mullet. Why mullets, huh? We chose that as one of our outreach uh, techniques. 
because around here, mullets are difficult to catch. But when I invite some local fishermen and say, hey, let's go up to the college and I'll show you um, this particular fish and you identify it for me. When they see it and goes, I don't believe what I'm seeing. You know, and I said, uh, stop being a fisherman, be a farmer. I am planning to in making some agriculture behind my resident. And uh, that's the subsidy. Subsidy of going, the gas is so expensive nowadays. And going out there and not like 20 years ago. Aquaculture is a viable solution to feed people, create economic opportunities, and alleviate pressure on wild stocks in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. To me, farming is an underrated, unappreciated industry. I really feel that. We forget how necessary it is to our survival.